hello friends today we are gonna play a game and all you have to do is just say the color in which the word has been written and not read the word so are you ready let's begin Was this confusing? Was your brain put to test? I know it was. So today let's learn about the important organ of our body, the brain. So while playing that game, while you accidentally reading the word and not speaking out the color, don't worry, it's normal. It's called the left-right conflict of the brain. Your right side of the brain tries to say the color and your left side of the brain insists on reading the word. Please drop a like, leave a comment, share the videos and don't forget to subscribe. So by this we know that the brain is divided into two halves, the right half and the left half. And both these halves are connected to each other by a bundle of nerves, nerve fibers called the corpus callosum. So from this view, does our brain remind you of anything that can be eaten? Any nut? Yes. It's walnut. Because it looks like a walnut and did you know that a walnut is a brain boosting nut. And when eaten regularly, it helps to increase the memory power of the brain. You can see how our brain has wrinkles on its exterior surface and this wrinkly part is called as the cerebrum. Which makes up the major portion of our brain but not every individual has equal amount of wrinkles. These wrinkles indirectly determine the intelligence of an individual. You may be wondering, how so? Let me tell you the logic. Logic is that the wrinkles are formed to increase the surface area of the brain and brain tissues. So more the surface area, more the number of neurons in the nervous tissues and more the neurons so more intelligent that individual is. And we learn that cerebrum is associated with the intelligence. Now let me look at the brain from a different view. When we change the angle and when we see it from this side, we notice that the cerebrum is actually divided into four parts or four lobes we can say. And each lobe has a different function that they perform for the body. The first one is called the frontal lobe. Now just by the name you can guess which one of these can be called the frontal lobe. Yes, it is this one. The one present in the front. Now to tell you its function. Let me give you a math problem. Can you calculate the sum? Did you get the right answer? So, the frontal lobe controls problem solving and intellectual activities. So, right now to solve this problem, your frontal lobe was actively involved. Some other functions are that this frontal lobe controls attention, judgment, behavior, muscle movement. So, now let's test our muscle movement. Are you ready? So on my command, quickly raise your right hand. Very good. So your frontal lobe is functioning really well. Let's move to the next lobe. This highlighted lobe here is called the parietal lobe. And do you know what it controls? Weight. Let's take a test to see if it functions well. So you have to do as I say. Pinch yourself as hard as possible. Come on, do it quickly. Did that hurt? Did you sense any pain? So where your parietal lobe senses pain, it also helps in visual functions such as reading and understanding statements. I am having fun learning about the lobes in the cerebrum. 
सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू द नेक्स्ट लोब इज कॉल्ड टेम्पोरल लोब इट्स कंट्रोल द विजुअल एंड ऑडिटरी मेमरीज सो ऑल दैट यू सी एंड हेयर दैट्स स्टोर्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मेमरीज इन दिस लोब Do you want to test this lob too? Okay. So all that you have to do is listen to the statement, memorize it well and repeat it later. Are you ready? Here we go. Jack will cycle to the market and bring tomatoes for his mother. Now repeat. Did you get it right? You are brilliant. Let's move ahead to the fourth and the last lobe is the occipital lobe. It helps in recognition of colors, words and movements. So let's take a small test for this. So in this moving video, you have to find the 10 hidden words and you have 10 seconds. Let's start. Wow so quickly we have completed learning about the cerebral lobes along with their functions now let's move to the second part of the brain the small bulge at the back of your brain that you can see is called as the cerebellum just like the cerebral this cerebellum is also divided into two halves it is called as a small brain it is very important part of the brain compared to the cerebrum the cerebellum has more number of neurons and it controls the essential body function like balance coordination and posture allowing us to move properly and to maintain our structure so your cerebellum is the reason that you can stand on one leg jump around run and maintain your body posture and structure now what these parts that we just discussed are superficially present on the exterior of our brain but tell me one thing who tells you when you are hurt or angry or sad or excited about something we link these emotions to a heart but is it really your heart no it's your brain the part that handles your emotional side is hidden below this wrinkly portion of the cerebrum so in our next video we will try to reach the depth of it where we will be studying two more important parts of a brain which lie in the interiors so keep watching keep learning and let me remind you all that please drop a like leave a comment share the videos and don't forget to subscribe thank you